I'll show you really quickly how to UV uh, map this character. Uh, right now, if we go into UV uh, editor, uh, you can see it's a hot mess because we have uh, multiple objects all together. Uh, and we kind of want to separate that. It's not a bad idea, but uh, for this, we want to kind of break it apart. So I think the student uh, kind of combined these all together. It's probably what I uh, probably stated, but uh, we're going to go ahead and break this apart. So we can go to mesh and uh, I'm going to separate this a little bit. Again, we're going to kind of combine some of this stuff. And uh, I think the antlers I'm going to bring together because I think they're symmetrical. Um, and I don't know if that's true or not, but uh, I'm going to bring those together. So I'm going to go mesh and combine those. Uh, eyes I'm going to keep hmm, separate. And uh, these, uh, are there eyelids? Okay, so it's the jewelry. I'm going to combine those together. And I just did this before and this was kind of problematic. There's so many layers and we're just going to put these together. All right, and we're going to go mesh and combine. All right, so if I click on these leaves or together, I'm not sure if they're going to UV map correctly or not. We're going to give it a shot. Uh, and then our eyes are separate, one, two, and those antlers um, are together. I combined them together. So I don't know if they're going to be doing painting symmetrically uh, correctly. Again, you could do those separately. Um, it's all right. It's just uh, these definitely want to combine because that was kind of a headache. All right. So I'm not select everything. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, export this out. Uh, export uh, all. And go to my desktop and I'm just going to call this a underscores test five and hit export all and again obj mode not fbx i think zbrush will work in uh, either format and so we're going to go into uh, zbrush and going to import this so sorry I'm thinking and as I bring up we're going to bring up a uh, desktop and test number five is that the one I just did 1111 yes here open bringing this character in and right now uh, if we look I'm not sure why this is cropping over here why it's all dark but anyways uh, if you look right here if we look at our sub tool we just have one. So we want this broken into several pieces. And so we export as an OBJ. So it's thinking of it as one object, but we want to do a group split. And I think you guys heard me talk about that. If you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, you will get lost. So uh, I'm going to close that and again, pull this over. I don't know why this is darkening up on this one side. Uh, so we're going to open up Subtool, Split, and we're going to do a group split right here. Again, I think it's showing up dark over here. Something really weird going on. Group Split, and we hit Okie Dokie. And you can see uh, everything that we paired together. Those antlers are together now. Again, if we're doing symmetry, I'm not sure if this is going to do symmetry. It looked like from the top view it was a little bit off. Um, so that is that character, um, the eyes. Uh, you know, interesting uh, with the eyes and then the geometry for these guys. And if we scale this down, we can see uh, our other jewelry or uh, ornamentation of the leaf there. All right, so I'm just going to do I'm just going to do two right now. I'm not going to go through all of them. Well, maybe I will. I don't know. Uh, so we we select the one that we want to UV map, and we're going to go to our uh, UV uh, Z plugin, and we're going to go to our UV master. And we're not going to clone it this time. We're just going to go straight up. And you can do symmetry if you want, uh, especially for the next two. All right, it does it really quickly because it's pretty low poly. And then we're going to just check out the first couple. We're going to do a texture map. Uh, let's do a texture map, sorry. Uh, create and from a UV map. 
And you can see right there, it does a pretty good split. Okay, we do have kind of that running down the center. That's all right. Uh, I'm gonna turn the texture off. All right, so we know it's working for that. We're gonna go up to our subtool, go down to the antlers, uh, and we can turn off the rest. You can turn those off, but we've, we've got it selected to antlers. And so we're just gonna go ahead and do our uh, Z and unwrap and probably has symmetry on doesn't matter you can turn that on it's going to go right down memory lane here unwrap and then this one's a little bit uh, different so I'm going to do a little bit different technique I'm going to turn off the symmetry and just hit unwrap and we'll do one more for good luck and ZBrush again the symmetry is off unwrap and let's just check out what these look like, uh, the ornamentation. So we're going to go to uh, texture map, uh, new from UV map. I just want to look at it. All right. So that looks pretty good. That's pretty dang good. All right. So just making sure. So do not do symmetry because this will look like um, gobbledygook. All right. So now uh, we want to just export everything out. So we're going to go uh, let me turn that off if you want. And we're going to go to our subtool, and we're just going to go uh, right through, and could probably, let's see, there's a whole bunch of ifs and buts here. I'm going to hit shift. No, it won't allow me. I don't know why I can't select them all. All right, so I'm just basically trying to export them out. All right, so uh, I'm just going to export one at a time. And I create a uh, subfolder called, uh, call it Bunny. Don't kill me if that's the wrong name. Uh, go into Bunny. I call this uh, the head and Bunny OBJ. Save. Okay, I'm just gonna go and rinse and repeat. Export. Uh, I'm gonna call this. I don't know how to spell antlers uh, branch. Sorry. I know it's antlers or whatever. Uh, this is left eye. So I'm going to export this R underscore I. It's actually L. Anyways, wrong. Uh, export and then. R underscore I. No, that's backward. No. Let's do L. Uh, L R I. I'm just really getting tired. All right. And export. Again, these are all OBJs. And we're going to call this uh, neck uh, underscore one. And we're going to do the last one. Export uh, neck underscore two. All right. All right. So we're gonna go. Let's see if I can. All right. So now we're gonna go to back to Maya. All right. We're gonna do a new scene. Don't need to save that. Thank you very much. And we're gonna uh, file import. And we're gonna try to find our bunny. And I don't know why it makes MTL files, uh, but we're going to go ahead and grab all of the OBJs. Thought I could do them. Hmm. All right, may have to import them one at a time. I'm sorry. Uh, it's all right. And so we're just going to import them in one at a time. Okay, branch. All right, and import. Going to do these guys. Import, neck two, uh, neck one. And the eyeballs. 
and port i and then r and port r i all right i know this is a pain in the butt but anyways everything is modeled pretty well and let's go at our uv mapping tool let's go to modeling and uv editor and so if I go one at a time, you can see everything is beautifully UV mapped, okay? And it was not like the dumpster where we had to spend hours upon hours and a lot of swearing. All right, so that looks great. All right, so one of the things uh, you want to do immediately is uh, grab that. You can see your UV uh, lines on there. We're going to hit edge and soften that edge. All right, we're in modeling, mesh, and soften edge. All right, so you want to do that kind of for all your object, and you'll see uh, how it's not uh, has a hard faceted uh, look. So uh, again, do that for all the objects. I'm not going to do that for you uh, right now, um, just for the tutorial. All right, so that immediately makes it look like a rock star, and so now we just need to get into ZBrush and start uh, adding to. A lot of the branches, I think this is normal. I think we can go in there and use Spotlight and learn how to do uh, different colors for this. All right, um, before you get into that, um, yeah, I'm not sure why I went it back into Maya for you because you, uh, the student is not using a substance uh, painter. They're just going to be in a uh, ZBrush. So definitely, if you're going to go to Substance, you can uh, definitely go in here. You want to go into Rendering and assign a new materials for each one of these. Okay, so we go into Lambert and uh, we name that uh, branch. Okay, so each one of these you want to assign a new uh, material. All right, but if you're just going right into uh, ZBrush, it doesn't matter. You can just go ahead and go up to your division count and uh, start, you know, adding, sculpting this out and then adding color uh, to each one of these. And then this is your final product in here. Uh, but if you're going into Substance Painter, you'll need to assign materials for left eye, right eye, uh, jewelry one, jewelry two, or ornamentation, and then the neck and so forth. So each one of these needs a material. Rinse and repeat the same uh, process that we use for the dumpster. Bring this into Substance uh, Painter. Again, this is as exported out as an FBX or object. Again, look at the, the couple tutorials back to see how you get that started. But you want all those different layers showing in Substance Painter so you can start painting it. All right, hopefully this is not just for this student, but uh, multiple students that are breaking up uh, from a bus to cars to um, even uh, radio uh, parts and pieces and stuff like that. Definitely follow this tutorial. All right, good luck, and I'm going to upload this now.